I'd like to invite you to the Brain Death Conference, organized by the John Paul II Academy for Human Life and the Family, on May 20th through the 21st in Rome. Most people have heard about organ donation, especially when getting a driver's license. There you are asked, do you wish to be an organ donor? Without much information, you respond, yes, for after all, if I'm dead, I can donate, donate my organs for a good cause. But what you are not told is that you must be alive for the organs to be any good for transplantation purposes. Please listen to this excerpt taken from authors who support organ donation, but out of academic honesty, they write, quote, Suppose one of your loved ones is admitted to an, to an ICU with a head injury. She is deeply comatose, connected to a ventilator, and given medications to keep her blood pressure stable. You are hoping for the best, but the doctor tells you that she is brain dead and then ask you for permission to take out her organs. You had heard about brain death, but you don't know what it is. You ask the doctor, when will she be dead? He answers, she is already dead. You don't believe him because there are so many signs of life. Her skin is warm. Her heart is still beating. Taking out her organs while her heart is still beating seems like a scene from a cheap horror film. Organ donation is founded on ensuring the relatives that their loved one is dead before the organs are taken out. But the bare fact is that many brain-dead patients continue to perform a variety of life functions over indefinite time periods, including maintaining body temperature, digesting food, stress responses to surgery, etc. It's very difficult to see a brain-dead pregnant woman in whose womb her baby grows over several months as a cadaver. Declaring these patients dead goes counter to our common sense of what it is to be alive. I am telling you the only way to get fresh organs for transplantation is to get them from people who are still alive. The most expedite way is to declare dead those who are alive but deeply comatose, so-called brain dead. Most people are not aware that brain dead donors are not truly dead at the time when organs are being taken from them. But this amounts to vivisection, and this must be made known to the public. This is why we invite you to be to the International Brain Death Conference in Rome, where worldwide experts will be presenting the truth about brain death. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about this truth in order to protect your family and friends.